Are you following your dreams? And if you're not following your dreams, is it because you don't think you can? Are you doubting yourself? Well, today on Self Love Sunday, I'm going to teach you five things you need to know about how to reach your dreams. It's really important that we remember to take care of ourselves. So please take a listen to this reminder and let's get started. My name is Angie Atkinson and on this channel I offer free daily video coaching to help discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse and toxic relationships. I like to call it toxic relationship rehab. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and we'll get going. After you've been through narcissistic abuse, you might really find yourself doubting yourself. So today we're going to talk about how you can stop doubting yourself and start really digging into your life and pursuing your dreams. Whether you feel that achieving your dreams are a long way off or just a few minutes away, it's really essential that you feel confident as you start to reach them. Confident that you can reach them. The key to getting your dreams to become a reality is to just believe in yourself and your abilities. The fact is, you are the only person who can make them come true, and you are the only person who can stop your doubts as you're working toward that. If you've doubted whether you can reach your dreams, I want you to try these five strategies I'm about to share with you, and they're really going to help you to regain your confidence, all right? So we're going to start off with number one, learn to recognize self-doubt. Are you aware of really how much doubt affects your ability to obtain what you want in the world? The first step is to recognize the power that self-doubt has over you and you know that when you've gone through narcissistic abuse, chances are you're going to have much more self-doubt than the average person. You might have a dream, but are you actively pursuing it? Doubt can really paralyze you and stop you from going after your dreams. It can really creep in and destroy them slowly. You might not even notice how much it's hurting your ability to get what you want. This brings me to number two. You have to avoid allowing your struggles to stop you. See, struggles are going to increase your doubt about your abilities to achieve your goals, and they can cause you to really give up and walk away if you let them. Struggles and challenges are really just a natural part of the journey toward your dreams. So rather than pretending that the issues don't exist or that you can avoid them, face them head on know that you can find a solution and continue moving forward toward your dreams. It might be on a different path than what you originally intended, but consider that it might be even better too. Number three, recognize excuses. If you don't believe in yourself, then you can create a whole bunch of excuses to stop going after your dreams. You might tell yourself you're not worthy of your dreams or that they're foolish. You might even convince yourself that, hey, you don't deserve success or happiness or other good things. Look, doubt can make you stay in a comfortable place that doesn't really feel very fulfilling. Your excuses might include maybe you don't have enough time or resources or maybe that you blame your family, your background, or other parts of your life. You have to recognize that you're using these reasons for excuses. If you want better results, you have to think of them as challenges that you can find a solution to and then get busy. Number four, act with confidence. Look, even if you're scared to take a step forward, it's important to act with confidence. Sometimes you have to fake it till you make it. You know what I'm saying? You have to go after your dreams with passion and confidence, even and maybe especially when you're scared or uncertain. Practice by doing things that take a little, not a lot, of courage. This will not only get you to help you to get some things done, but you're also going to have more self-esteem because you're doing things that scare you. You see what I'm saying? You can build up your confidence over time with little tiny steps. And finally, number five, view your challenges in a new way. Take a, a new perspective. Life is filled with tons of teachable moments that can really help you to get to your dreams. Usually, they look like challenges. Challenges can shape and transform you. Instead of thinking of your challenges as failures, you have to look at them as learning opportunities or results that can show you a new and more effective approach. Each challenge really gives you the chance to experience something new and learn from it. They're a sign that you're growing as a person, a sign that you're making progress. They mean that you're getting closer to your goals. You know what? They're the stones in your path that act as markers for the final destination of your dreams. Self-doubt can destroy any dream. It can make you feel like you're completely worthless. And today on Self Love Sunday, I want you to remember that your dreams are possible. Let go of that self-doubt because it can make you think that your dreams 
aren't possible and will never happen, but my friend, this isn't true. You can defeat this negative thought process with strategies like the ones I've outlined for you today. I want you to regain your self-confidence and I want you to go after your dreams. Are you with me? Let's do this. When you're going through recovery, it feels a little bit stressful. So the best thing you can do to relieve your stress, relieve your depression and your anxiety is take care of yourself. So this weekend, start thinking about what it takes to take care of you better. All right, now take a look at this. Discover the power of self-care to fight stress. Chronic stress and anxiety wears you out, but self-care is a great way to restore your mind and your body. Try these self-care techniques to find relief for your stress. Number one, make your health a priority. You might have stress coming from very many directions, work, school, family, kids, neighbors, or others. Find a balance between taking care of others and taking care of yourself. Number two, understand the fundamentals of self-care. Self-care is a conscious effort to put yourself first. It requires that you take time for activities that nourish and sustain your body, your mind, and your spirit. When you make it a priority to take care of yourself, you build a healthy lifestyle that focuses on healthy choices. You can build self-care into your daily habits like eating a healthy breakfast and exercising. And number three, start with one healthy habit each day. If self-care is not a normal part of your life, it might be hard to get used to it. But you can start with one small habit and you will see positive changes. Maybe it's a habit that's tiny like eating oatmeal for breakfast or having a salad for lunch. The key is to pick something small and easy to do. And then you can build from this foundation and add other habits. If you try too many activities at once, you're probably gonna get overwhelmed or discouraged. So find your own path, that's number four. It's easy to get caught up in the self-care practices other people are using, but it's so much more effective to find your own path to wellness. Find the tips and habits that work best for your lifestyle. Maybe you don't have time to eat a healthy lunch or exercise every day. That's okay, there are other ways you can take care of yourself. So be willing to experiment with different ideas to figure out which self-care practices work well for you. Number five, continue growing. It's not enough to add one self-care habit and move on. Stress is gonna to continue to be a factor as long as you're on this planet. Over time, the stress might come from a lot of different directions. For example, if your job is going well, well, maybe you suddenly discover some issues at home. Or if your family life is good, well, you might be worried about getting laid off. You might find this overwhelming at times, and maybe you feel like you're taking steps back. But if you continue to move forward and make self-care a priority, things are going to get better. As your life changes, your self-care habits will change. Maybe oatmeal for breakfast causes a stomach ache or injuries prevent you from exercising every day. That's okay. Self-care comes from multiple channels. You can change things up and you can still find success. Self-care has an important role in the battle against stress, my friend. It's a vital part of staying healthy and maintaining your own wellness. All right, this brings me to the question of the day. And the question of the day is, are you taking care of yourself? And if you're not, what are you gonna start doing right now to do just that. What are your dreams that you want to follow that you're missing out on right now? That's all I've got for you right now. As always, thank you so much for being a part of my day and a part of my life. And hey, thanks for letting me be a part of yours. It really does mean a lot to me. Make sure you take a look at the videos in the cards above and in the description below to help you take better care of yourself today. I'll see you soon. It's my mission to teach others what I know to be true. You really can create the life you want. Take care of your body. Take care of your soul. Nurture the real you and introduce him or her to the world. Be comfortable in your own skin and in your place in this world. Take your spot. Take it now. And the universe will take its cue from you. You feel me? If so, subscribe to my channel. Let's get it done together.